A dry, windy, and cool start to this week. Temperatures right now only at about 56 degrees in the Springfield area, but our MGM Skycam is lit up with blue skies and sunshine. So at least we've got that. This will definitely be the sunniest day of the week, but it should also be the coolest day of the week. As we move forward this week, warmer temperatures are expected, but we do turn more unsettled. We've got more cloud cover coming in tomorrow, and the chance for some showers and storms will return midweek. Once we hit the end of the week, we do cool down. Actually, it's Saturday that's looking like the chilly day, kind of like today, and then temperatures will start warming back up again. Right now, the radar is showing all the precip off to our northeast and back off to our west, so things are dry and quiet here across southern New England, and we'll stay that way into tonight. Clear skies expected for a while, but then cloud cover is going to gradually start to build in as we head into Tuesday morning. Tuesday, while cloudier, isn't looking totally overcast. I think we'll see some breaks of sun, and we're not expecting any wet weather. As we head the, into the overnight hours tomorrow into Wednesday morning, might have a couple of showers around, but some models are keeping them to the north like this one we're looking at right now. However, it looks like there's the chance that some of these will start drifting south into our area by Wednesday afternoon and evening. Could bring a few showers and even a few thunderstorms. Right now it's not looking like anything severe, but some gusty wind could come with some of these storms and something we'll keep an eye on. And then for Thursday, showers will be back for the morning. Might not necessarily last all day though. As far as the severe weather probabilities for Wednesday, they are well out of our area for now, though we do have a general risk for some thunderstorms. And again, that's mostly Wednesday afternoon. Still something we'll keep you posted on. I do expect that to change just a little bit. Now, as we go all the way out through Thursday evening, there's the chance that we do pick up some decent rainfall, especially if we do get a couple of thunderstorms that bring some downpours. We may end up over an inch of rain, but none of these days are expected to be a washout. So you can still get some stuff in there. Uh, as far as temperatures go right now, it is chilly. We've got mid 50s for the valley, upper 40s in Pittsfield, 56 in Boston, 58 in province. Wind is gusting 25 to 35 miles an hour. It's very dry out there today, so we do have that enhanced fire danger or elevated fire danger into this evening. Tonight getting chilly. Most of us will be lower to middle 30s, but a few upper 20s can't be ruled out with clear sky and if wind can lighten up enough, but then clouds will roll back in for Tuesday. We will get some breaks of sun and highs will be back to the 60s, even close to 70 throughout the Pioneer Valley. Uh, so not a bad day overall. Breaks of sun and a little breezy at times with wind gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Now, as far as your seven day forecast goes, Wednesday's the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon, but a few showers are possible in the morning as well. Thursday, some of the models are showing rain holding off until the end of the day. Some are bringing some rain in in the morning. What you need to know about Thursday and Friday is that occasional showers will be possible and it's not going to last all day. Highs will be in the upper 60s both days. Then we get chilly for Saturday with highs back to the middle 50s. It'll be blustery, but we'll get some sun. Nice to end to the weekend and a warmer uh, stretch is expected for early next week. Kristen Jordan, back to you.